In this video, I am going to discuss about change tracking in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, everything in Microsoft SQL Server we can do by two ways. First is graphically and second by query. So, and here we can uh, say to uh, change tracking property on database or in table so uh, by graphically. So, what exactly is change tracking? So by using change tracking, it identifies the rows that have changed in the table or in the database. So if any modification happen in the database, so that will or track. So let's see by example. So first I'm going to discuss about how to apply change tracking on database by graphically. So suppose if I uh, use add here. Adam database. So Adam is the database. Now here after go to properties. So at here you can find change tracking. So by default it's off. Okay. So you need to enable this one. So make that true. Now here after this is the retention period. So at here days selected. So how many days you can do at here? You can give whatever you like according to or project requirement. Suppose if I give out here for okay retention period. So here you can use days, hours, and minute. So if you select add here minute, that is four minute here four hour, and here this is for four days. Now here after so if you uh, select the cursor at this point, change tracking it selected. Now here you can find indicate whether change tracking is enabled for its database. So if you make that true, so that gonna enable. So this is about retention period, the retention period of the change tracking information. Our change information will be retained for at last the time specified by the specified the retention period, retention period unit. And here this is, you can select add here period, so days, minute and hour and here this is the auto cleanup so about this one this is the point automatically clean up the change tracking information if of change tracking information will not be removed and will continue on so this is about auto cleanup now here after let's click ok so now here you can find so here our change tracking enable on Adam database so suppose if I'm going to use this query to enable change tracking. So let's see what happened. So at here getting the error message, change tracking is already enabled for the database item. So I just enable at here or change tracking on database item. So we can't do again at here. So this is by query. So this is by query method, and this is by at here by graphically. Now here after I am going to disable that. Right click here after go to properties. Now here change tracking and here make that false. False. So add here it's now change tracking that is disabled. Now here after I am going to enable change tracking by query. So execute this query. So see at here command completed successfully and here after if I click again then here Getting the message change tracking is already enabled for the database item. So by writing this query, we can enable. So retention, you can set whatever you like. So let's so disable add here. Here right click, go to properties. Now here change tracking, make that false. So here you can find by query that I just enable. Now make that false. Now here you can or set add here that is and here you can set hours, minute, whatever you like. So I'm going to set that time hours. So let's write at here hours. Now here after let's execute that. So change tracking that is enabled. Here you can go to properties. Now here change tracking. So see true that is retention period that is true and here or retention period unit hours and here auto cleanup that is true. So this the query we can enable change tracking on the database. Now here after the next thing is 
to enable change tracking by query on the table. So suppose if I'm going to enable the change tracking on the particular table. So here I'm going to select countries. Right click here after go to properties. Here you can find change tracking. So here this is false. Now here after I'm going to make it true. So this is about change tracking indicate whether table is enabled change tracking. If table is enabled information about the changes of the data will be stored and can be used to determine which row has been changed. So by using this we can determine which row has been changed on the table. Let's click on OK. So at here I am getting the error masses. The reason of error masses is cannot enable change tracking table countries. Change tracking requires primary key on the table. So at least in one column must be primary key. So if you are going to apply change tracking on particular table, so column one, at least one column must be primary key. Okay, now here after I'm going to click on OK. So this table that I'm not able to enable the change tracking because it has not any primary key. Now here after I'm going to select other database. So add here table and here you can see or deal. So it has uh, let's check there here id is the primary key. So in this or table we can enable the change tracking. So first we need to enable. So or uh, suppose add here I'm directly going to enable the change tracking on the table. So let's go to properties. Now here you can find change tracking, enable that one. So see at here when I'm trying to enable, so it's you cannot find at here any drop down box because at here this property is also or disabled, you cannot change. So that means first you need to enable change tracking on the database after that you can use the table. Okay, so first I'm going to enable the change tracking on database properties here after change tracking make that true and here you can give oh, let's give at here minute now click on ok so change tracking that is enabled on escort database now here after go to table here you can find or oh, this one now here go now here after you can find change tracking now this time you can find drop down box because I just enable change tracking on the database escort now here after drop down he make that true so add here or track and here you can find track column update so if you do any modification on the columns so this will also track now here after enable that one also now click on enable so change tracking on the table del that is enable now here after the next thing is so let's so see contents inside or uh, contains inside del one table. So at here first I'm going to do one thing. At here going to insert the value 117 and here giving the name at here maxi. And here after let's give the address that is Pune. You can give whatever you like. Now here after let's give one number double one double two. Now here after I'm going to do or uh, two things. First is insert. Second, add here going to do or uh, update of the name. So add here giving the name Carol. So one is insert and second for update. Now here after let's execute that. So it's a uh, changes add here. Now here after to find out change on the table so we should write this query change select a start from change table so give add here changes and here del1 add here this is now here after execute that so this is the alias here so object then could not okay we need to select add here database that is escort so inside escort del table is there execute once again so here you can find or this change version that is enable and here so first time that start from version 1 so I already or did so many modifications on the table so that here it's so displaying or 11 and 10 
So if you first time you should try, then here that will display one to like that. So first add here, this is says change on here. So this is add here, you miss update. And here this is the columns and here 116. So on 116, here you can find 116, I change the name color. And here after that I used 10, here 10 I. So I that indicate insert. And here after 117, that is for insert. So I inserted at here this name max component double one double one eight. So about the change tracking on the table. So we can see current inserted rows. And for update and delete, original value after update or delete record. So at here, see what happened when I insert some values. Okay, so this value you can so Suppose if I execute this query, okay. So whatever I inserted, that value is displaying at here. And whatever I did modification on the column, so this value it's a displaying at here. So previously, what was the value on the name? It's a not displaying at here by using change tracking properties. Now here after select table version, change tracking current version, and here let's execute this. So here it's a displaying tail version and here this is the record inside the table. Suppose if I move, if I delete something on the table. So suppose if I give the delete del where id is now 112. Now here after I execute this query. So one row that is affected. Now here after let's execute this query. So add here, there have three modification done on the table. First is D. Okay, so here you can find 10, 11, that is this one is 12. So deletion which 112, 112 that I have given the where condition 112. And here update 116 and that is insert 117. So this is the main benefit of change tracking. We can track whatever modification happen on the table. One important thing how to check or uh, which database has uh, or change tracking property enable. So add here if you execute to this query so change tracking now if you execute so add here 789 so add here score is selected so it has id 8 now if you select add here max so it has 9 and here Next is Adam. So 7, 8, 9 has change tracking properties. If I create one new database. Okay, let's give add here max two. Now if you I just created one database max two. So if I execute, so it's still displaying 7, 8, 9. Because I did not enable any change tracking properties. Suppose if I enable change tracking properties on two. So here you can do whatever you like. Now click on OK. Here if you execute. Now here 7, 8, 9, 10, it's a display. So this is the way we can figure out which database has enabled change tracking properties. And one important thing, we cannot enable change tracking properties on system. Database. Go to properties. If I enable add here change tracking properties, click on OK. So I am getting error message. Database master is a system database. And change tracking change tracking setting cannot be modified on the system database. So we cannot do any modification on system or database. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.